Well, TJ, congratulations on re-signing with Melbourne City FC. Uh, how excited are you for the season ahead? Super excited. Um, I've been looking forward to it since the season ended last year um, to get back in with the girls, with the coaching staff, with you know the club. Being here is, I um, might sound corny, but for me it's like the highlight of my year. It's clearly nothing better to do. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Last season was a breakout campaign for you personally and played an important role for the team in the latter stages of the season. What did it mean for you to be part of another historic achievement for the club? It was huge. Like, obviously, like you said, you know, um, coming into it and getting the opportunity to be part of something so incredible is, you know, it's priceless. There's no, for me, there's, I, like, I love football and I love playing and for me there's no price tag, there's no limit, there's no anything. So for me, it's just like, it's an incredible thing to be a part of. And like, I hope year after year, I know it's not reasonable or realistic and getting old, but you know, to be a part of something as amazing as City. Tell us a little bit about, about the environment here in Melbourne City. You've got access to great training facilities and change rooms, full-time staff, coaching staff as well. Uh, what does it mean to you to be part of this club? Well, it's exactly that. I can't speak on behalf of, you know, the other clubs and being part of other clubs because I haven't. It's always been City from the get-go for me. So um, I don't have much to compare it to, but personally, but from what I hear and, you know, what you see on social media and online and all that kind of stuff, it's second to none. Like, it's just top, top, you know, facilities, top coaching, top teammates, everything is... I couldn't, I couldn't think of anything that I would be trying to improve on. I, I, it's, it's great for me. Just touching on your off season, um, you spent a bit of time in America playing for Seattle Sounders over there. Um, what was that experience like for you? Yeah, it was good. It was really good. It was no comparison to being at City, but it was such an invaluable experience and like going over there and playing in a league that is so different to the NPL here. Um, really allows you to just be like open up to other other ways of playing and other other um, you know leagues and stuff like that and they're very physical um, very athletic in America so it was, it was a different it was a different game that they play um, at least for the, with the Sounders um, but nonetheless I, I loved every minute of it it was a great environment they were super um, professional with their facilities and we, we had access to everything the club was so so great um but i think it just made me appreciate coming home a little bit more like coming back to city and being a part of this again um yeah it really made me appreciate it uh, it's a, a big pre-season ahead now uh, for the w league team here patrick is will be taking the reins as w league head coach how much are you looking forward to working with him Oh, I don't know whether there's any looking forward to pre-season. Um, it's a love-hate thing. You love, you hate him for what he makes you go through, and I can just imagine the hell we're going to go through. But obviously, then you love him for what you get out of it. So you got to put in the hard work. Um, and come Monday, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of hard work, and there's going to be a lot of tears and cursing and lots of other things. But in the end, it'll, it'll, of course all pay off, you've got to put in the hard work. So I'm looking forward to it. I don't think I've had a coach like PK before in terms of what he expects out of you. His standards are super high and he just like drills you to the ground, but it's for your own benefit. Like he doesn't do it in a, you know, a way to be mean or whatever. It just, that's the kind of coach he is. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We obviously had him last year and it was, but here it's starting from the get go and it's going to go all the way through. So. I, I want to say I'm looking forward to it, but I'm really not. Yeah. I'm really not. <laughs> it's touching on this season now. The W League fixture has been finalised for 2017-18. The club's set to play four broadcast doubleheaders with our men's team in Amy Park and up to eight matches televised on Fox Sports in total. Uh, what's your reaction to the draw? I think, it, I think that it's great. It's so nice to be able, able to you know, support our men and have them support us. Um, and after being in America and seeing how the women's football over there is just huge, like it's huge. And it would be nice to see, um, you know, the league here follow in those footsteps, in their footsteps with, with um, publicity and marketing of women's football and all that kind of stuff. And I think with, with a league like or a draw like that, that's 
we're having double headers, having people come out. Hopefully they'll come out a little earlier and see the girls play before the boys and, um, you know, being able to watch it on TV and all that kind of stuff. I think it'll be huge. And uh, women's football is just, I think, boomed recently and and hopefully for the younger generations coming through it'll just get bigger and bigger and provide more you've played in a couple of double headers with city um what tell us what it's like having just a it's a full club day isn't it with all the fans coming out supporting both teams yeah it's it gets to like half time and then the stadium all of a sudden seems ridiculously full and you're like oh god there's so many people here but i think once you step out there you you kind of it's not something you think about and of course it's nice to hear you know, even someone shouting something mean at you because you're like, oh, they're here watching and, you know, they've, whatever it is, um, they're at least there. So um, while you try and not focus on it, it's cool to, to be able to step out there, especially on a, on, a, on a pitch like Amy Park and be like, wow, well, you know, you're part of something, something incredible. And the first match of the season would be the big grand final replay away to Perth at an OB Stadium. Pretty big match to start the season. How excited are you for round one? Really excited. I think everything's just been such a like a whirlwind now with, you know, pre-season starting. First game of the season is going to be here before we know it. Um, and it'll be really exciting to have to have a rematch. I feel like the final last year was so long ago. It was kind of forgotten, forgotten all about it because there were so many emotions and it was just such an incredible feeling afterwards. But I think um, we haven't gone down to Perth often, so I think it's it's cool to go down there and play over there and do that kind of thing. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it.